good afternoon and welcome to the balance of life i am pastor angel ferguson and i thank you so very much for joining us today truly this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it today we're going to uh discuss with you something that i think is so very important entitled i am what i need now before we get any emails or get any calls in about what I mean pertaining to that statement we have already been given, gifted gifts and talents by our Father which is in heaven and so everything that we need is already in us the truth of the matter is is that we have to discover those gifts, those talents that he has placed within us and I believe this that when you are called, you when you and I are called to a vision, and when I say called to a vision, I am talking about when you are invited by God to do a work. When you and I are invited by God to do a specific work, He invites us based off of our current capabilities. He invites us based off of what he has already implanted, installed in us. And so he is never going to invite us to something that, first of all, we're not equipped for or that we cannot handle, nor will he call us to something that he has not already given us a gift and a talent for. I am reminded about the stewardship of King David. David was called anointed to be the next king, the second king for Israel. And he was called based off of his capabilities, of the gifts that had already been placed within him. He was already a shepherd because he obtained those skills watching over his father's flock. He had the capability and knowing how to be a warrior, a defender of those sheep. He was a great musician so he could write music. He could play music. He also had the ability of discernment. He walked in humility and so what God invited him to, those gifts were imputed in him. When I say he had the gift of hearing and following instructions, when it came down to writing the instructions for the pattern of the house that he wanted to write, he followed those instructions. He wrote according as being led by the Holy Spirit. And so you and I have what we need with inside of us to fulfill the walk, the call that we've been invited to. On last night, I think it was around 10 or 11 o'clock last night, I was uh, in my relaxation time, and which I like to color. And now that I have fallen in love with painting, uh, that is my relaxation. That is a time that I'm not thinking about work. I'm not thinking about ministry. I am just relaxing. And uh, earlier yesterday, we created uh, some new uh, promotional ads. And they are on our Facebook page for The Balance of Life. And as I was sitting on the bed, just coloring, it came to me. And I just began to in humility give God all of the thanks honor and praise because what he has imputed in me the gifts and talents that he has given unto me are for the fulfillment of what he has invited me to do and so he has gifted me according to the work that he has called me to and I say to you you are what you need Whenever we are invited into areas of ministry, and it could be for uh, creating a new business or things of that nature, 
I believe that we should learn how to operate every function of that business before we pass it along for someone else to handle. You and I need to know the foundation and the groundwork in which we've been called to. Uh, oftentimes we pass things on to people and we don't know how to do it ourselves. Uh, there are going to be times that it is above our station, above our capability, but to get started, to maintain it, I'm telling you, what you need is already in you. You learn how to do it. You get an understanding of what it is. And I'll take it even further. Sometimes in our visions, we want things to transpire we want to add things. We want to do things because we see other businesses doing them, other ministries doing them, and we want to add those things without asking God, is this a part of what you invited me to? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? We do that. We do that because, hey, it looks good over there. They seem to be succeeding and, and, and doing very well. So, God, without even asking you, we have grafted things in, and that's not our area. And here's where we fall into even more peril and, and trouble. Well, I don't know how to do it. I want it, and then I need to find somebody who does it. I bring them in. There's a cost to be incurred. Then... Uh, you have some individuals, and I've experienced this with other ministries, just watching individuals coming in and helping them with areas that they aren't capable of doing. And that person wants to take over and say, oh, this is mine. I've seen it in other ministries. Uh, I am well guarded. I'm going to tell you that I am well guarded because I believe that if God brought me to it, he brought me to do what it is that he wants me to do. He is going to equip me. He's going to give me the know-how. I'm going to sit. I'm going to wait on the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me in what he has called me to do to fulfill his will on earth as it is in heaven. I am a willing vessel. I am a willing vessel. And sometimes, I'll say sometimes, we won't move ahead because we're waiting for someone to come along and fulfill what God gave us to fulfill. Well, I thank God. To God be the glory. As I was sitting in, sitting there and I was thinking and I said, you know what? I thank God that you have given me the capability to do graphics and design. The ability to hear. Because it goes to what you call me to do. Now, granted, there is this part of me that wants to hand off those things to others. I want to hand that off to someone else. I really do. But until he allows me to do that, I am equipped to do it. I'm saving some money. <laughs> I'm waiting on God. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit lead and guide me on how to do things. And guess what? Nobody gets the credit. I don't even get the credit. I don't get the credit to say, I taught myself how to do anything. I'm sharing this because I want to encourage us today. Those of you who are uh, just starting in ministry, or those who are uh, in a position you are about to start expanding, in your ministry and you're trying to figure out how do I do this how do I do that I'm sharing with you today wait on God wait on the Holy Spirit he will lead and guide you on how to do it all according to God's plan and his will sit and wait hear what he has to say and then as you hear what he has to say, then allow him to show it to you. See, we, we not only hear the vision, but we must see the vision. Sometimes we hear and we take off running. But we haven't seen it. 
And if we haven't seen it, then we ha we don't have an understanding. We just hear and we're just jumping ready to go to work. Is it, and and that's exciting. It really is. But don't just hear. See. Get an understanding. Move yourself out of the way. Move your thoughts out of the way. Move your flesh, move your carnality out of the way. This is God's vision. He gave it to some. To fulfill his will on earth as it is in heaven. And so I'm just a willing vessel to do as he would have me to do. So that tells me there is a specific way in which God wants to operate. There is a specific way in which he wants to do the work. And I don't know what it is unless I ask. I seek him diligently. Lord, what are we doing? Last week, we began to talk about greater. Greater is coming. Greater is coming. Well, we must be prepared for greater. And so the, the things that we do normally, uh, they are not on the same level. Because what you did previously, your preparation previously, got you to your current state. Now it's time for greater works. And so... God knows when he wants to release greater. We have to prepare for greater. And it's already in you. Yes, it is. It is already in you. What God wants to do is already in you. The gifts, the talents, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. Study to show yourself approved in what God has called you to do. You learn the foundation. You learn all of the groundwork. Every business, every ministry is not going to operate and flow the same. We can get advice. We can go to the seminars. We can learn the tools. We can get all of that. But the bottom line is, God, what is it that you want done? You lead and guide me so that you are receiving the glory, so that you are getting all of the honor, so that you are giving all the praise. Because if I do it my way, or if I invite somebody else to come in, then they are going to say, I did it. When in fact, it's God that did it. I give him honor and praise for how he leads and guides me. Once again, I can't get the credit. I can't say I went to school to study graphics. I can't say that. I did go uh, for certification in publishing. I did do that. But to start off, mm -mm. no. I said I, I would hear. I sit at the computer. Uh, I had a mentor a couple of years ago when I first started out. And, and I asked certain questions. And they wouldn't give me those answers. So I literally had to sit and wait on the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me. To direct me on what to read and what to look at. I'm still at that place now. I wait solely on God. I, I hear it. I said, show it to me. And I believe wholeheartedly if he allows me to hear it, if he allows me to see it, he's going to show me how to get to it. He's going to show me how to achieve what it is that he is showing me. And so I'm saying to you, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ that are joining me here on the balance of life, everything that you need to fulfill what God has given you to fulfill is already in you. It's already in you. Once again, sometimes we see things that others are doing and we want to gravitate that. We want to, um, um, we want to engraft that into the vision that God has given unto us. Is that God's plans? Listen, that worked for them. That's where he's leading and guiding them. Don't pull that into what God has given unto you. Is that his plan for you? Ask yourself that question. God, I like that. Is that, can, can I do that over here? 
if, if you get a no, respect the no and work in the capabilities that God has given unto you. This is all a part of leaders of faith affirmations. Work according to your ability until God begins to bring in others. Until he does that, everything that you need is in you. I'm not going to tell you that it's not overwhelming because it can be. But if you were being led and guided by God, if we're being led and guided by God and he's going to give us instructions by the Holy Spirit, then we're not we really shouldn't get overwhelmed because God is not going to put any more on us than we can bear. He's not. It's us. We have to take some responsibility. We're not moving when God tells us to move. We're not doing it the way he tells us to do it. Mm -mm, we're not. We're, we're, we're hearing and we're jumping ahead before we get any instructions. Only thing we're hearing is, I want you to, to build a ministry. I want you to start a women's ministry. I want you to start a Bible study. I want you to start a business. And that's all we heard. We didn't wait to see. We didn't wait to see. We didn't wait to get a glimpse. We decide, okay, I'm going to build this ministry the way I want it to be built. But no, this was an invitation from God to join him in a work that he wants to do in a specific area. So in order to fulfill his will on earth as it is in heaven, then I need to wait on him. I need to allow him to let me to see it. Can I see what you're talking about, Lord? Can you show it to me? And when you allow me to see it, one thing that I'm going to realize is my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways your ways, for your ways are as high as the heavens are above the earth. And so my concept, my precept of what it should be, what I thought it should be, what I thought it should look like. Listen, when I get a glimpse of what you want it to be, oh God, there, there's no measurement. Mm -mm. There's no comparison. It's like my thought process of what I thought it should be, what I thought it should look like is, is like this right here. But, oh God, your your way is like this right here. Oh God, is is much higher, but I'm down here because I, I thought that was big. But that was my thought process. That was my concept. That was That was my understanding because I didn't wait on you. I only heard and I jumped ahead. Help me, Holy Spirit. I jumped ahead of you. I didn't allow you to let me see your plan. I didn't allow you to let me see the vision. I just heard and I jumped and I went to moving about, doing things my way and trying to plan it out my way. And it does, listen, it doesn't even measure up to what you want to do. My, my little thought process can't even fulfill an inch of, of your plans, of your visions. I, 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 I'm so far behind. But if I would learn to say, and I'm sharing this with you because this is the, this is the way he's leading me and many are just hearing. We're not waiting. We're not waiting on the Lord. We just zoom. We out of there. Where we just we just jumping so far ahead, and we don't know God's plans. We we don't even know what it's supposed to look like. We don't have instructions. We don't have directions. We don't have any of that. We just I I heard the Lord, and we just gone. I heard him and, 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 and I took off. We don't have any of the intricate details. And when it doesn't work out, when it doesn't pan out, when it doesn't measure up, then we want to go back and we say, well, uh, 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 God, where did I go wrong? I, I'm, I'm here to tell you today, 
on this beautiful day, February the 14th, 2023. I am here to tell you today where we went wrong is, is we didn't wait on God. You have everything in you to do and fulfill what he has called you to do. I'm not denying that. It is in you. It's there. But wait on the guidance from the Lord. Wait for the instructions. Allow him to show you what he said to you. You have to see it. So that you have a visual of, of what you're heading to. Have a visual. Of what he said. And so I find myself. Where I say if you allow me to hear it. Please allow me to see it. And when he allows me to see it. I say show me how to get to it. You show me how to get to it. Not my way. Not my thoughts. Mm -mm. No. Because once again, I might think this is big. But God is looking for this. He's looking for that. And I'm thinking, well, that's, that's, that's it right there. That's it. Mm -mm. No. So... Let us slow down. And I want to give you a word over in 2 Timothy, the first chapter. Paul is talking to Timothy. And he says in the sixth verse, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. The gifts are already in you. They just need to be stirred. Mm -hmm. They need to be Develop. They first of all, they need to be mm -hmm. um, acknowledged. They need to be recognized, located. Whatever word you want to use, they need to be discovered. Lord, what gifts are in me? Here's another thing that I want to say to you today: the gifts that are in you will be released according to the season. Of the vision and the journey. I'll say that again. The gifts that are in you and I. Are released. According to. The season. Of the journey. And the vision. I need to say that a third time. Because the second time I said it, it. It did something in my spirit. The gifts. That are already in you and I will be released at a certain season of the journey and the vision. They're not all released at one time. They are released as needed in the stages of the vision and the journey. They grow unto maturity as well. That's, an, that's another nugget. So that's two nuggets. The gifts that are in you and I, that God gave us, number one, they must be discovered, acknowledged, located. They must be cultivated, meaning they must grow and mature. They are released according to the stages of the journey and the vision. That's when they're released. Do you not know. Uh, I want to say around October. My, I, I'm not sure if it's October. I don't know. But. And it might have been. I don't, I don't know. But the desire to paint. Now I do home decor. Uh, items. Dishes. Chargers. Vases. I do that. But the desire to actually paint and design. That's the stage that I'm in now of the journey and of the vision because it's needed. We incorporate those things in designing the covers for Hope and Truth magazine. This stage of the journey of the vision. And then there are some other things. Yesterday, 
are doing our campaign ads was totally shifted. Totally shifted. I'm going back to the word that he gave me about greater is coming and that I must be prepared for greater. And so the, the skills, the gifts that he has placed inside of me all these years, they, they're being matured. Now, let's bring some reality to our word. Did I always work at the level and the expectation of God? No, I did not. Was I always obedient? No. Were there times that I heard and I jumped and moved ahead of time? Absolutely. Were there times that I heard and I didn't move at all? Absolutely. Were there times that I heard and I was slowful in moving? Absolutely. And the Holy Spirit would bring that to my remembrance. And I had to repent. I had to go back and I had to remember what he called me for. What he put inside of me. That those gifts are there and they needed to be stirred up. They needed to be activated. He allowed me to hear. Then he allowed me to see. And as I said, if you allow me to hear it, if you allow me to see it, then show me how to get to it. And I would just sit and wait. Until he began to tell me what to do. And as I look back now, there are times that, I listen, I, I totally missed it. I didn't follow all the, the instructions at times. There are times now that I have to say, slow down. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Get all the details. And, and don't let people rush you. Don't let people push you into areas that you're not ready for. That don't don't let people add to to your vision that God didn't tell you to add. Don't, no. God, what is your plan? God, what is your purpose? What is it that you would have me to do? What is it, Lord? Because I want to do things according to your will and according to your purpose and according to your way. Because I want to fulfill what you have for me. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I want to fulfill what it is that you have for me. Let that be our key for today. That's our leaders of faith affirmation for today. I want to fulfill what it is that you have called me to. You have already equipped me. You have already given me the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding to fulfill what you have called me to do. It's already in me. Stir up the gift that's within me. Stir it up. I know the gift. And I want it to be stirred up so that I could fulfill what you called me to do. I make no excuses. That's my affirmation for today. I make no excuses to do what God has called me to do today. I am equipped. I am capable of doing what God has called me to do today. That's going to wrap up our time for the balance of life on today. Be sure to join us on tomorrow at 1230 p.m. Listen. Everything that you need is already in you. If you don't know what the gifts are, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal it. If they need to be stirred up, listen, stir up those gifts. They need to be grown. They need to be matured. And remember this, all of your gifts and talents are released according to the time and season you are in the vision of I love you without measure simply because I believe in the potential of you. Have a blessed day.